all right uh, welcome back again to another challenge called adjacent addition so we're going to pass through the instructions and, and, be, be, and understand what we're going to be doing in this this coding challenge so in this challenge we have to add two adjacent numbers in an array after that we just return the maximum number of the, of the addition of each adjacent element so for example if you look at this at this line here adjacent addition whereby it's receiving an array of one two three four numbers there are four numbers so the output has to be seven because when you add uh, when you compare one and two these are adjacent elements the three and the four is also an adjacent element so when you add one and the two i'll end up with a three if you add three and four i'll end up with a seven so the output of this of this function will be seven uh, on the other on the other hand if you look at this at this line also we have three, seven, two, and one. So adjacent elements we have three and seven, two and one. So three and the, three and the seven when you add them you get a ten. A two and one when you add them we just end up with a three. So when you compare a three with a ten, the output will be ten. So one of the methods we are going to be utilizing is a max. It's called a max method. So the max method is found in the math class in JavaScript. Okay, so this basically returns the maximum maximum number out of the rest of the numbers. Okay, the same applies for minimum also. There's also a minimum method and in the, on the math class. So the, the minimum method just becomes the opposite of the what of the maximum. Okay. All right, let us try out this in our Node.js constant. See, we shall indeed be getting 56. So I just copy this line of code. I go into my terminal. So I execute. Uh, remember, I want to use this in the Node.js console. So I type in Node, enter. I enter the Node.js console, then I just paste this. You see, I'm getting 56 because 56 is a is a greater greater than 34 and also greater than 2 and also greater than 1. It's the greatest number within these within these numbers okay so so that's the trick behind uh this is the trick behind this challenge okay so let us treat it let us start straight away by writing some line of code here okay so here you're basically returning basically returning math math oh sorry math dot max we want a maximum number so this one this is a little bit different from from this from this because uh, when you're using math with max um, just numbers like actual numbers this that's how you do it you just pass in the numbers one two three up up where you want but now in, the, in this case we're, in our case we're dealing with an array of different numbers okay so the, the the trick here you just use a spread operator this spread operator can be used in many ways you can use it made when you want to make a copy of an array of, or, or an object when you want to make a copy of that array of or an object use a spread operator to, to generate for you a new a, a brand new array or object but in this case when you're using the max the max method on the math class at the same time dealing with an array you use a spread operator to get the maximum number out of those array, out of that array so it's use a spread operator on this input array uh, after that we slice we slice we slice this array slice it pass zero and negative one so so this will this will return all the arrays except the last return all the elements of the array except the last element of the array so the last element of the array will be left out okay then dot dot map dot map for each number and this index Which number on each index 
we are basically returning return that number plus input array at index at index of that array then add on one I want to explain this line a little bit but let me hope everyone understands from starting from this max that max that max up to where the slice the slice method acts upon the array so the slice method will just return all elements of the array except the last the last, the last number and then the map method we are, we are mapping over each element of the array and then for each element for each element in that array we get it okay that's why we, that's why we are returning inside here we get it and then add input array we we'll go back to our input array we we'll look for the index of this number in okay and then when we find our in when we find its index we we'll add on one on that index so adding one one will we'll, we'll take you to the next number okay so for example let's take a an example of this array one two three and four okay we're going to look we're going to map through this array and get the number n okay we return n plus remember we want to add adjacent elements okay so n plus input array we access its index what's the index of one zero okay this index is zero then we add on one on that index it will take the next number which is what the one so index index one will take you to index one will take you to two so when you add two and one you end up with what with the three so that's how we are going to be mapping over different elements of the array so when you add the two and the one it will give you what a three so i'm going to map over each element of the array and keep on adding those adjacent elements and then we shall return the maximum of all those additions okay so let us execute this and see this in action okay so pass array one two three four five six okay come and execute this function all right so you type node adjacent addition adjacent addition the js file oh i'm getting a what oh, oh, oh this should be under console.log okay console Dot log because we want the output on our terminal okay yeah you see we're getting 11. all right let us compare these adjacent elements one and the two it will produce a three a three and a four will produce a seven a five and a six will produce an eleven and eleven is greater than seven greater than three that's why having eleven as our solution here all right we've really succeeded in this solution though it was a little bit challenging and tricky but the trick was behind uh, using the ma the max method from the math class and then after that we slice it we slice the array and then map over that array and then for each array uh, and over uh, for each number in that array we add on the next number by accessing the index of that first number and adding one 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 into that into that into that number all right so this brings us to the end of this video please uh keep on practicing these things okay don't just watch the video you can you can just watch the video as you well, as you're coding but not just watching and leaving it like that right so please continue to subscribe to this channel like and share We'll meet in the next video. Bye-bye.